hi guys in this video we will learn what is soft delete and how to use the soft delete so first of all what is soft delete so you can see that i have a list of users there is a seven users and if i go to the database you can see that there is a seven users okay so let me remove one user so you can see that green hand and if i click on delete you can see it's removed from the list now let me go to the database if i click on browse you can see that that users are removed from the database as well so sometimes users delete the by mistake so then we never recover in this case but if we use the soft delete it's not delete from the database it just deletes from the list so user will see and user will assume that records are removed but it's not actually removed from the database so how to do that laravel already provide the soft delete for that solution so let me give you the example okay so first of all if you go to the soft deleting here you can see that inside the table we need to add one column deleted so let me create one migration for that so let me go here and let me clear it and let me create one migration like artisan mac migration add column to users table okay now if i go here and let me go to the migration so at the end you can see the table users so here i will add like table variable and soft deletes okay and this function will automatically add the soft delete okay and you can also use the drop soft deletes so if i go here at the down so let me add table and drop soft deletes okay and save it okay now let me run this okay let me run this migration so php artisan sorry let php artisan migrate okay and you can see that migration is run now if i go here you can see that last column is updated if i refresh it okay you can see that deleted at okay so that means all are null so if you go here and if you refresh okay let me run again the project so php artisan sir okay and if i refresh you can see the six records right now present so let me go here into the user model and let me use the soft delete so if i go here use illuminate database and eloquent and like soft deletes okay and now if i go here we need to use as well so i will just copy and paste and now if i go here and click refresh you can see six records now let me remove this last user okay so if i go and if i click on delete you can see it's delete from the list and now if i go to the database and click on browse you can see that it's keep record like amberson that is the keep there but you can see that there is a deleted at there is a current timestamp is there so that means that record is deleted for the user but it's not deleted from the database so that's a you can you know like let if by mistake users deleted that record and they want to roll back then how can you do that so in this case we can easily roll back so let let me give you the example on it as well so let me add another button here so let me go and users and let me add row and then call md and i will say 8 and i will add the title here okay now what i will do i will create another call md and that will be a 4 and let me add a tag okay now here like restore or something like a deleted users okay and what i will do so i already created a one route so like a route and there is a users users dot index and i will pass deleted equal to one okay so that means if there is a deleted equal to one that means we also need to we need to show deleted users so okay let me go here and let me check here like if i if request deleted equal equal to one then users only 
trashed okay so trashed method we will use and select then i will use select and then star and then i will simply add get okay and if there is no any deleted then you can see that i will put that here and simply go here and you can see that it's saved okay so now if i go and refresh you can see here deleted users so let me go here and let me add one class here so that layer design will be better so btn btn primary okay and if i go and if i refresh you can see that deleted users and let me also add like text and so it goes to the right side if i refresh if i click on the deleted users you can see that one users we have a deleted you can see here just one user so you can see that here is the delete so now instead of like uh, right now we have a delete button here so instead of delete we need to add restore button so if i go here and let me go and let me check it like uh, at the red if like request deleted equal equal to one then it should be restore button and if so else should be the deleted so i will simply add the uh, same thing i am you i am creating another route for it so i will copy the url and paste it and i will say like restore okay and i will pass the id and i will say like user id and then should be the button name will be restore okay and i will say like info now let me create one route restore route so if i go here to the route area now let me create another route here so that will be a get route user dead restore okay and then i will pass the id and then i will say restore method and also let me add users dot restore okay and let me save it and now let me go here and create another method so same thing if i go here so as and restore so i will say it will be id now if i go to the user okay user and same thing we need to use only traced and then we need to find it okay so then find the id and then we need to restore method okay so that means we need to restore and then i will say like redirect back so simply save it and now let me go here and let me run the example okay if i go and if i refresh it you can see that restore button and now if i click on it yeah you can see there are no users if i go back so i simply go and remove this deleted and click on users you can see that same thing if i delete this delete this delete this and if you go here you can see there three users are deleted if i go and you view the deleted users then you can see that there is three restore button if i click on it i can restore it yeah and now if i go here you can see that you can see all null so that means the soft delete helps that it's not remove actual data from the database so we can recover anytime so i think i will suggest you must have to use soft delete in your project so that uh, that way you know by mistake anything happens then you can easily recover so thank you so much for watching video and please subscribe us thank you so much